Hello, I'm John Morris with Royal Electric Supply Company, and I'm here today with Steve Crum from Power Motion and Control. Steve is the rep for Adelette Manufacturing, and he's here today to tell us about Adelette's OEM capabilities. Hey, John. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Good morning. Thanks for coming out here today, Steve. Um, what, what is Adelette? Who are they, and what is their capabilities? Um, Adelette's a U.S. manufacturer. They're located in Cleveland, Ohio, and they make uh, cast aluminum enclosures, mm -hmm. primarily. Um, they make 75 different sizes, and they also have uh, cast stainless steel enclosures where they make eight different sizes. Mm -hmm. um, I brought along today a sampling of some of the products that they manufacture. Um, this is a cast junction box, and um, as you can see, it has bolts around the outside. Um, they make, a, again, a wide variety of sizes of so this. This is cast aluminum. Um, this is a meter enclosure, okay, it has a spin top lid, and it also is available with a glass cover on top of it as well. This is a control station. Um, this particular one is designed to be used for crane, overhead cranes. Um, so it may have a stop start on it, it may have some speed control for the motors. And we can paint them, and as you can see here, in different colors, whatever the customer desires. Uh, these are uh, operators. Uh, these operators come in a variety of different styles and sizes. This is a uh, spring return emergency stop. It might be used in one of these enclosures in the cover, or you can see in uh, this enclosure. Uh, this is a pilot device. Uh, it has a light on top of it, so it has a. It's a. Uh, we can, we do LED lights. We do standard incandescents, um, but this is a lamp of a light. And we also have different lenses that are available as well. Um, you can see different colors depending on the customer's application. This is a breather drain. This would go in the bottom of the enclosure and uh, let the moisture out. Uh, this is a flame arrester. It can be used with uh, pneumatic lines into an enclosure. This is a uh, operator for um, a panel board. So this one might trip a circuit breaker. And one thing you don't see here is we have a complete line of panel boards, mm -hmm. uh, motor control, including motor starters, circuit breakers, and disconnect switches. So that's what this would be used in. Um, this is a, a miniature operator. Mm -hmm. For example, if you didn't have enough room on here to put our standard size operators, you could uh, put a miniature operator up here and you get more of those in the spacing. So these are available. This is a mechanical reset. They're also available with, put, with electrical push buttons, um, selector switches, and with uh, pile lights. So we have a complete line of miniature. Looks like it's about half the size of yep. the uh, That's correct. The units. That's correct. Um, these are instrumentation enclosures. Uh, we have a wide uh, number of sizes that are available with these. This particular one just has a short cover on it, but we also have ones that have deep covers. We have double-sided ones. We can paint these in any color. We, we sell these by the thousands. They're a very popular product with us. I noticed there's another type of push button here. Yes. This is a um, used in our increased safety enclosure, which I'll mention a little bit later. But um, these have sealed contact blocks in the back so that they can be used in a terminal, increased safety terminal enclosure and keep, uh, keep the arc inside the contact block. But we have these available in lights, push buttons, selector switches. Yep, a wide variety of gamma operators. With all of this, um, how, does our, how does that benefit our customers out there? Um, this is, for example, one that we have up here. We did a cast cover for one of your customers. It uh, has their logo on it, and um, it uh, gives that customer that special look and um, that they're maybe looking for. Uh, you can also see it's painted uh, color that they asked us to ask for. Um, so we have that available. We also have uh, all the approvals available for these products, which would be UL, CUL, uh, ATEX, IECEX, and uh, uh, KOSHA, which is a Chinese approval, and a CAE, which is a Russian approval. So we can give them the full uh, line of approvals. 
Now, you mentioned ATEX, uh, that is the international approvals. Uh, what does Adelet offer on ATEX? Well, we offer just a standard enclosure uh, approval. We also offer a populated approval, too, um, so that if the customer tells us what's going inside of it and we populate it for the customer, we can give them a full approval on not only the enclosure but the internal components, and we can give them a temperature rating then on the enclosure, too, which is sometimes required with um, uh, these type of products. So they have a shop that assembles yes, all of those. that is correct. And then they can get a full approval for international type customers. Yes. Hmm. Very good. Yeah. Is there anything new going on uh, that we should know about? Yeah, um, Adelaide has just upgraded their foundry, increasing their capabilities at the, at the factory in Cleveland, uh, which was a significant commitment. Um, so it makes the product look even better than it already is. Um, they also have a line of stainless steel sheet metal enclosures they've come out with, with both 304 and 316. Mm -hmm. And as I mentioned earlier, the increased safety line falls into there where you might have a customer with a, that needs terminals in an explosion proof enclosure. Uh, we would use an increased safety enclosure and we may use some of these operators if they need, uh, they need operators on the cover. How's stock with them now? Uh, stock is very good. They actually have put in stocking centers um, both in Cleveland and in Houston, so we get a quick we can get a quick response out of them. Um, Adelaide has also um, upgraded its website to include both uh, PDF drawings, approvals, um, AutoCAD drawings, and 3D modeling drawings. So they've really tried to make it easy for the customer to do business with us. So engineers can just go on the site and be able to yep. get that information. That's you know, correct. That's correct. Yep. Well, very good. Uh, all I could say at this point is if, if you would uh, like to contact us at any time through our social media or through our website or even calls, we can get together and do demonstrations live or virtually and we would be glad to help you with your applications. Again, thanks again for coming out here today, Steve. It's always great to see you. Thanks, Sean. It's always a pleasure.